Hello everyone, my name is Robin and here I will show you my first little VST I made using Juice. I present to you the Night at Tin Whistle VST. This is a small virtual instrument for the Tin Whistle using samples I've recorded myself. This virtual instrument is available for free on Windows and Linux platforms. Here is the link up above and it will most likely be down in the description as well. Here, first of all, here's a small sample um, I made based upon another music I've done for a game jam. Now we'll be going over, over some of its small features that I added to the virtual instrument. Uh, I'm using the Juice plugin host so that we can easily play some notes and listen to the changes that's happening. But overall, as you can see, it doesn't have a lot of differences. It has a simple penner. Obviously the whole ADSR stuff, which is really easy to understand. Then obviously we have also some reverb settings that we can adjust. And the VST makes uh, full use of the tin whistle range with recorded samples for almost all notes, um, starting from D6 all the way up to C sharp 7. As I said, the VST is available to download for free in the description. Um, I mostly made it available and for free because it was used to learn how audio buffers and sampling audio files worked on a digital format. Um, and of course, as well, applying changes to them such as volume, reverb, ADSR, and the panning. It helped me a lot understand how the digital sound actually works, especially understanding some of those important theorems, such as the Nyquist theorem. Um, this VST was made in using the Juice framework, and also the source code is completely available for free to be checked over at the download page. Thank you very much to the audio programmer for allowing me to showcase the sampler and its tutorials, which made me start finding how to create this amazing um, VST.